Moving like the speed of sound Feet can keep on the ground Can't stay in one place Keep moving like a bullet train. Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm sitting in my girlfriend's Audi A3 Quattro 2015 and as you could probably tell by that opening this car is filthy so sorry about that it's a little bit winter and I don't think she washes that car this much so now this is the Quattro model um, the base model comes with a 1.8 liter turbo I think it's about 170 horsepower like 177 foot-pounds of torque the Quattro model is a step up because this one is all-wheel drive whereas the base one is front-wheel drive and if you're getting an Audi you probably want to get the all-wheel drive Quattro. So before we talk about all the specs let's talk about the looks of this car and anybody that looks at this probably if you don't know much about cars if you do know much about cars can tell it is an Audi just because it has that Audi corporate design they all kind of look the same I'm not gonna lie Audi is starting to bore me kind of because everything looks the same and this style I feel like is really old. I mean the A4 is really old and I know the A3 is new so I think it looks a lot better than the A4. But everything is starting to look the same. But it's still a good looking car. Doesn't mean it's not a good looking car. Now for the interior, I love this interior. It looks beautiful. I love how simplistic it is, how there's nothing really on the dash except for that pop-up screen which you can pop right back down. I love how that works. Now this is the base Quattro so we're not gonna get the navigation or the automatic climate control. And I believe the up, uh, step up Quattro also gets paddle shifters, which this car would greatly benefit from, which I will get to in a little bit. So let's talk about what everyone wants to talk about, and that is how does this car perform. Now there's really two ways to go about this. Should we look at it as a luxury car, or should we look at it as a luxury sports car? Kind of like, I guess you could say a 3 Series, something of that sort is really a sport luxury car. So let's look at it as a sport luxury car first. The engine is fantastic. It is a 2 liter turbo, 4 cylinder, so basically the same type of engine in the Subaru WRX. Obviously they have no relation at all, but still, the same architecture. I could be wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure I'm right, that this engine is the exact same engine in the Volkswagen GTI, the new one. And that's because Audi, if you didn't know, is part of the Volkswagen group, and they share a lot of platforms. But let me tell you, it is a fantastic thing that this engine is out of the GTI because this engine is so good. I mean, it is so much power. Like that. Like passing power instant. So, this car has, I believe it's 220 horsepower, 258 foot pounds of torque. Could be wrong there. I'm pretty sure it's what it is. But man, does it feel more powerful than that. I mean, this car gets up and goes. It gets out of its way so fast. So, 220 horsepower, I mean, we're talking about something that's like a BRZ, you'd think right away. But what really is the big number is the torque number at 258, which is the exact same amount of torque that the WRX has, my WRX. And as most people know, torque is the number that you really use every day. Horsepower is a lot more about kind of that top speed, once you're up to speed, going. But torque is what you're really gonna feel going. If you're going to zero to 60, torque is what you really want. And this thing, <laughs> has plenty. Oh my goodness. So that leads me into the transmission of this car, which is the best part of the car, probably. <laughs> the engine is fantastic, but this transmission, I have a manual, for anyone who's watching doesn't know, I own a Subaru WRX, and I have a manual. It's my first manual, and I absolutely love it, and I don't think I could ever see myself not getting a manual again because it is that good. However, when you do a dual clutch right, there is something about doing a dual clutch just so right, and this thing is so right. I mean, it shifts blazing fast. You, there are no paddle shifters, like I just said. I think it's on the upgraded model, which this car needs paddle shifters because of how good this transmission is. However, you can shift it over into manual mode and do it yourself. And when you shift it over, it is godly. I mean, it feels like you are a pilot. It is unbelievable. I mean, just pop it over, shift it down a couple times. Let's go in a second. 
it is un... I've never seen a needle move that fast down. I mean, when you look at the tachometer and you're shifting and you're at 6,000 RPMs, which is basically the red line in this car, and you shift, it goes boom, down to 4,000 instantly and you don't feel any power loss whatsoever. And so since we're talking about it as a performance luxury car, those two parts are absolutely phenomenal. However, if you're looking at, at it as a performance luxury, where it is a complete letdown is the handling and the steering and just everything about moving the car not forward and backwards. Because once you start turning this car, it is bad. And I think it's bad on purpose because the steering is so light I mean, it takes nothing to turn the steering wheel. You have no steering feel whatsoever, and there is plenty of body roll in the corners. However, I think it's done on purpose because I don't think this is trying to be a performance luxury car. I think it's trying to be a luxury car. So yes, this is a great luxury car, but not a great performance luxury car because of the suspension holding it back. And because of how good this transmission is, how good this engine is, and how bad the suspension is, I would love to drive the S3 because I feel like all they're doing in the S3, besides adding power, is stiffing up the suspension and making a lot more steering feel and steering weight. Fast corner. Oh, this just rolls. Oh, my goodness, this rolls. Not much support either. All right, let's do a couple gear pull here. goodness one more thing to talk about this car <laughs> and there might be people angry at me with this and people disagree and that's fine you can disagree with me all you want on this but 0 to 60 I would not be surprised at all if this beat my WRX for one reason one reason alone is the transmission because this thing shifts so freaking fast I mean so fast that I think it would just be gone you take them both at the line, both all-wheel drive, both launch extremely fast. Now after 60, I think the WRX would overtake it with the higher horsepower. But my goodness, I would not be surprised at all if this one is 060 versus my WRX. So I hope you enjoyed the review, guys. But before I finish, there's one more thing I really want to talk about. That in the comments, I would love to know if you guys can give me, I guess, why you think this car, this specific car is built. The 1.8 liter turbo front wheel drive Audi A3. Because I don't know why anyone would buy it, and hear me out. You get, I think, 170 horsepower, 177 foot-pounds of torque, I believe, something around there. About the same, if you remember my Sentra from this channel, that's the same power I had in my Sentra Sentra. It costs 30 grand base, and if you, everything's gonna, if there's gonna be an option on probably every one of those base Audis to make it about 31, with destination 32, taxes 33, 34, something like that. For 33,000 or so, you can get such better cars. You can get a loaded, a pro, basically a fully loaded GTI, something around there, for 33,000, which is gonna have a much nicer interior than a base Audi A3, at least I think so way more power and way more utility with the hatch. So I would for sure get that over a base Audi A3. And I think I would get a fully loaded Mazda 3. There are so many cars that I think I would get over that, but I don't really know why the base Audi A3 exists. If it had Quattro, I could understand it existing because Quattro is such a great system and people might just want entry level, all wheel drive luxury. But I think the 1.8 is not gonna be very luxurious it's going to be front wheel drive, and I guess you're just buying it for the badge, maybe? Not quite sure. But let me know what you guys think about that. So thanks for watching, guys. And let's do one more pull, because this thing is so much fun. Just in a 4,000 first gear. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and brakes. Oh, lots of brake. Wow. Thing is a lot of fun until you turn like that. That is a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, maybe one more. Second gear.